الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد يقول الله تعالى في القران العظيم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هاميم والكتاب المبين انا انزلناه في ليله مباركه انا كنا منذرين صدق الله العظيم all praises are for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we glorify him and we thank him for his blessings we thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this month of ramadan we thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us the opportunity to fast and pray and give charity we thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for keeping us healthy for protecting us we thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his guidance we thank our creator for all his bounties and favors that he has bestowed upon us i testify that there is none to be worshiped but allah he is alone and he has no partner and i testify that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is his servant and final messenger ibadallah my dear brothers and my dear sisters allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in the quran about the revelation of the quran and when it was revealed and how blessed that time is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says hamim to letters of the arabic alphabet wal kitab al mubin and the clear book which is the quran inna anzalnahu fi laylatin mubaraka verily we revealed it in a blessed night what is that blessed night the best night the blessed night is the night of qadr the night of power the night of excellence the night of decree laylatul qadr the night that is better than 1000 months as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also states in the quran in a surah dedicated to that night inna anzalnahu fi laylatil inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr laylatul qadr khayrun min alf shahr verily you be revealed it in the night of qadr the night of power the night of decree and what will explain to you what that night is that night allah says it is better than 1000 months in the previous verse allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after saying that it is revealed in the blessed night which is laylatul qad he says inna kunna munzirin and verily we before we forewarned human kind we give warning to people and throughout the quran we are being given glad tidings and we are being given warning allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives glad tidings to those who do good that their their reward will be jannah paradise and those who do evil they are being warned that they will be punished in the hell fire in jahannam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a great opportunity to be present 
to be alive, to be well during this blessed month of Ramadan. Ramadan is leaving us. Today we have assembled on a very blessed day, an important day, Yawmul Jum'ah. And as they say, we say this is Jummatul Wida'a, the farewell Jum'ah for the month of Ramadan. We don't know who will experience Ramadan again next year. We don't know who will be in a state of good health during Ramadan next year. This is all the work of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Qur'an, كُلُّ مَنْ عَلَيْهَا فَانْ وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ Everyone on this earth will perish. Everyone on this earth will die. وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ What will remain? The face of your Lord, the one full of majesty, glory, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So for each and every one of us, our turn will come. But in the meantime that we have life, we need to make good use of it. And so we still have a few days remaining in this blessed month of Ramadan. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the opportunity to see its end. These are blessed days and blessed nights. The most blessed nights of the year are the nights, the last ten nights of Ramadan and we are within the last 10 nights of Ramadan Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is said of him that when these last 10 nights came he used to tighten his waist belt meaning that he worked harder and he would pray more at night and he was also concerned about his family so he would wake up his family to also pray this is the beauty of islam that just as how we are uni united in this world that we want to be united when we leave this world and so we all have to have the same goal. Husbands, wives, children have to have the same goals. That you are striving to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That you are striving to stay connected with your creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that you all will be, all of us will be successful together. And success my dear brothers and my dear sisters. It's not the beautiful homes and the beautiful cars and the great job or the six figure that we make in terms of our salaries. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, فَمَنْ زُحْزِهَا عَنِ النَّارِ وَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةِ فَقَدْ فَازِ The one who is saved from the fire of hell and is admitted into the paradise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is the one who has been successful. And so, 
let's do like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Spend these remaining days and nights closely attached to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We still have some odd nights in these last nights. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he speaks about Laylatul Qadr, the night of power, the night of grandeur, the night of excellence, the night of decree, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reminded his companions to search for it in the last 10 nights, in the odd nights, the 21st which is gone, the 23rd which is also gone, the 25th which is also gone. We still have the 27th and we have the 29th night. We need to continue that rigor. We need to continue that focus and make sure that we are striving in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his family. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at the very beginning of Ramadan he said to his companions, the month has come to you and in it there is a night that is better than a thousand months. Whoever is deprived of it is deprived of all goodness and no one is deprived of its goodness except one who is truly deprived. Let us not be in that category of people who are truly deprived of the goodness of the night of Qadr, the night of power. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, I want to remind you of a few things that we can do as we tighten our waist belt and we work harder in these last days and nights of Ramadan. Remember, the Quran was revealed in this month and it was revealed in this blessed night. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Shahru Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Quran Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed as guidance to humanity. It was also revealed to distinguish right from wrong. And so let us spend more time connected with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when I say connected with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I do not only mean that you listen to it and that you read it. Yes, in listening there is blessing. And yes, in reading there is blessing. But in following, we become the best of Allah's creation. Inna hadha al-Qur'an yahdi lillati hiya aqwam. Verily, this Qur'an guides to that which is most upright. And how does it guide you to that which is most upright? We need to be walking Qur'an like the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Those who implemented, they internalized the Qur'an and they walked the Qur'an every moment of their lives in terms of demonstrating what the Qur'an taught them. And so let us spend time in looking at the book of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Look at halal and look at haram. Look at what is right and look at what is wrong. Am I on the right path or am I on the wrong path? If I am on the right path, I want to build upon it. If I am on the wrong path, if I'm doing something that I ought not to do, then I want to move away from it. And that's all in the Quran. So in these last days and last nights of Ramadan, spend time rehearsing the Quran. Spend time learning more about the Qur'an and spend time teaching someone about the Qur'an. 
Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Khayrukum man ta'allam al-Qur'ana wa'allama. The best of you are those who learn the Qur'an and they pass it on, they teach it to others. In these last days, in last nights of Ramadan, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, increase your worship. It is not only about the five daily prayers. It is not only about the Tarawi prayers. You can add more to it. Stand and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This man who's, who was promised that whatever mistake he has made in the past, and whatever mistake he will make in the future, he has been forgiven for it. There were times when he would stand at night with one ayah of the Qur'an until his feet were swollen. And when he was asked, why do you exhort yourself so much? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would answer, Afala akuna abdan shakura, shouldn't I be a thankful servant? There were times when the Prophet وسلم, in his salah, when he made sujood, the closest that we can get to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he would, he would make sujood and he would make it that prostration for such a long time that the companions looking at him, they would think that the Prophet وسلم, had passed away. Because that's the closest that you can get to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With regards to standing, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Man qama laylat al-qad imanan wa ahtisaban ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhambi. The one who stands for prayers in the night of qadr, in the night of power, with iman, with faith, and with the expectation of reward, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive him his previous sins. And don't, don't forget that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the whole of Ramadan. It, and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned that in, the, in a hadith which he says, Man qama Ramadan, imanan wahtisaban, ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhambi. The one who stands the whole of Ramadan in prayers, in observation of all the, 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 the rights and the wrongs, keeping away from wrong and practicing right, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive him his previous sins. And so spend time in prayers. Spend time, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, the third thing, in dhikr, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an, فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرُكُمْ Remember me and I will remember you. Many of us, if not all of us, we have some anxiety, we have some stress, we have something that makes, up, makes us uncomfortable. There's some discomfort in our lives. You know, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Allah bi dhikrillahi tatma'innu al-qulub. Verily through the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is comfort to the heart. So continuously remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Afdalu dhikr, the best of dhikr. What is it? to say, La ilaha illallah. There is none to be worshipped but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we depart this world, we want that, th those words to be the last words on our lips. La ilaha illallah. There is none to be worshipped but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And don't forget the treasure from the treasures of Jannah. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. There is no might, no strength, except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, it is kanzin min khuluzil jannah. It is a treasure from the treasures of jannah, of paradise. Number four, don't forget your dua, my dear brothers and my dear sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Udu'uni astajib lakum. Call upon me and I will answer your prayers. Allah is there waiting for us to call upon him. And there are periods in, in the days and in the nights when dua is being accepted. It is not being returned unanswered. One of the times is when we break, when, at a time before breaking our fast, at the time of iftar. Inna lisa'imi inda fitrihi da'watan lam turad aw kama qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam At the time of the breaking of the fast, when the fasting one makes dua, it is not being returned unanswered. This is what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us. In this special day, the best day of the week, Yawmul Jum'ah, there is a period, there is a time when dua is not being returned unanswered. Exact time, we don't know. There are certain things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has withhold from us so that we may strive more in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he knew the exact time, the exact date of Laylatul Qad, the night of power. But he came out and he saw two people arguing. And so he came to tell his companions about the exact date, the exact night. Saw two people quarreling and the knowledge was lifted. Perhaps it is good for us because now we get to strive in the last 10 nights looking for the night of Qadr, the night of power, instead of focusing on just one night. So there are certain things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not give us the knowledge of so that we may strive harder and we may strive more in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kullu nafsin dha'ikatul maut. Every soul will taste of death. We know that. But when? None of us know. وَمَا تَدْرِ نَفْسٌ مَاذَا تَكْسِبُ غَدَا وَمَا تَدْرِ نَفْسٌ بِأَيِّ أَرْدٍ تَمُوتٍ No soul knows what will happen the next moment. And no soul knows in which land it will die. That knowledge is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so since we know that we will die, we will strive more and more to be in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So dua, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, make continuous dua. And the best of dua for this period, for these last 10 nights, is the dua taught to Aisha radiallahu anha by our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When she asked, if I happen to know which night it is, what should I supplicate? And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Say, Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'afu anni. O oh Allah, you are forgiving. You love forgiveness, so forgive me. Let us continuously make that dua because all of us, we are sinners. We all make mistakes and we need the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Kullu bani Adam khatta wa khayr al tawwabun. Every son of Adam makes mistakes and the best of those who make mistakes are the ones who turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they seek forgiveness for their mistakes. Fifth point. Remember that there are people in the world today who are suffering. There are millions who are suffering from malnutrition. There are millions who are suffering because they don't have clean water, pure water to drink. There are people all over the world who need help. 
Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allahu fi awni al-abd, ma kan al-abdu fi awni akhihi. Allah will come to the aid, the assistance of his servant, so long as his servant comes to the assistance of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So long as the servant comes to the assistance of his brother, of someone else, helping someone else. So the fifth point, give charity. It is not only about giving your regular zakah. It is not only about giving sadaqatul fitr, the fitr for the fasting. But we need to do like the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and, and to give more. They were the ones whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about them in the Qur'an. وَيُؤْثِرُونَ عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ وَلَوْ كَانُوا بِهِمْ خَصَاصًا They were the ones Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and they give preference to others with regards to what Allah gave to them. Even though poverty was their own lot, even though they were in need, they were looking to help others because they learned from a great man. They learned from the best, best of exemplar, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The one, no matter who came to him, he never returned them without giving them what they were asking for. So my dear brothers and my dear sisters, remember, we are still in the last days and lights of Ramadan. Strive to connect with Come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May He have mercy on us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us good in this life and good in the life hereafter. And may He save us from the torment of hellfire. Akulu kawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum. Wa li sa'ir al mu'min al mu'minat min kulli dhamb. Fa astaghfirun. Inna hu huwa al ghafur al rahim. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, was salatu was salam, wala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi was habihi ajma'in, ridwanullahi alayhi milayo middin. Amma bad, Nakadamar in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fil Quran il Azim, haithu kal, in Allah wa malay ikatahu yusaluna ala nabi. يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وأرضى الله من خلفائه الأربعة أبي بكر وأمر وأثمان وعليم ونستة الباقين المبشرين بالجنة ونسائر الصحابة ونتابعين ومن تبعهم بسان لا يوم الدين اللهم عز إسلام والمسلمين اللهم نور قلوبنا بنور الإيمان وثبت قلوبنا على دين الإسلام ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم اللهم لا تدع لنا في مقامنا هذا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هما إلا فرجته ولا هاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة إلا قديتها ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا ميتا إلا رحمت ولا دينا إلا قديت اللهم تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم عباد الله إن الله يمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربة وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون فاشكروا الله على نعمه واذكروه على آلائه ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تسنون قم السلام